What's up guys? Today, we got something a little special for you. We traveled about an hour north of Austin to show you this little gem that's kind of hiding off IH-35. You could literally drive right through this town and not even realize that you just passed through it. Today, we're in Salado, Texas, and we're gonna show you why you might wanna consider living in Salado if you're maybe working in Round Rock, or you're maybe working in Temple, or maybe Waco even. Georgetown. Georgetown. It's all with, with in an hour drive, and each city, of course, is going to have its different drive times. But if you want to know more about Salado, Texas, and why we think it's a hidden gem, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Wayne. This is Jay with the Brandis Properties Group. Uh, we're both licensed agents here in the state of Texas and we love making these videos for you guys. Uh, but we, what we love more is for you to reach out uh, with any of your real estate needs, any questions, comments. Uh, we're here for you days, nights, weekends, call, text, email, whatever the case is. Numbers right there. And if you guys please subscribe, hit the like button, hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified when we release new content. Helps our channel grow and helps this content get in front of people who it could help quite a bit. Um, that being said, let's get this thing going. guys Salado Texas literally two two exits two to three exits when you're driving up IH 35 heading north from Austin Salado is gonna be about 50 miles north of Austin which if you're working in Austin may not be the ideal drive this would have to be something that you were looking for specifically to move here however if you're working in Round Rock or Georgetown or even north of Salado in like say Belton or Temple or even Waco, Waco, this is a great place to be. Very, very, very small town. You're talking only a couple thousand people for the population. And in fact, Salado is not even a city or town, but it's a village. Yes, Salado is a village, the village of Salado. One high school, only a couple of schools that feed into it. Very, very, very small for now. I say for now because who knows what the future looks like. But what do you... I mean, it's been a, a really cool town that we've driven through. Um, there's a bunch of cool boutique shops, um, a few breweries out here. We're actually right by the Barrow Brewery. There's a Chupacabra Brewery. Um, they've got some nice, huge, you know, not huge, but ranch properties out here. Um, some of them got, are pretty huge. Yeah, some of I them mean, are. Some are, of them are 50, 60 acres. Some of them are good size, but the ones we're looking at probably they have a nice yard, like a, yeah. a good size yard. Um, there's a, a golf course, a Mill Creek golf course out here that we drove by as well. Um, Very close to the Stillhouse Dam. You can go down there in the lake, or Stillhouse Lake, I should say, and dam. There's a dam there too. But uh, you can go down there fishing, boating. Uh, you'll see people cruising around. There's a couple restaurants that have a view of the lake. You can go out to eat, enjoy it with your family. Uh, Salado's definitely got a very, very, very big family atmosphere to it. Family atmosphere vibe. Like Wayne was saying, boutique shops, places to go hang out with your family and eat. Um, to be able to walk around the, the town and... Yeah, you can come out if the weather's not too, too, too hot or if you don't mind the hot weather. Lots of places to stroll and you can kind of walk the whole thing and it gives you a good day outdoors. Uh, we're out at uh, next to Barrow right now, like Wayne said, and there's access to Salado Creek behind us. And even right now there's families down there swimming in the creek. They got a little tiny, tiny, tiny waterfall. Uh, there's an area to swim, kind of an area to hike. 
and we'll show some of that to you here in a minute but the uh i think i even saw a guy fishing a yeah. little ways up the road yeah so definitely one of those spots that all the locals hang out especially when the weather gets really hot uh, you can come down here on the weekends and this place gets pretty packed So if you guys were looking to move to Salado, you'd be looking for small town feel. The prices have gone up recently, but they're not too, too bad unless you're talking about one of those big acreage properties. Then you're looking at like up to a million, up to two million, like it, it just depends. Uh, there's a few of them that are like more land, more price. Kind of like you guys know that. Yeah. Um, a lot of bed and breakfasts located in Salado, so if you wanted to come out, kind of scope out the town, stay for a few nights, you could find like an Airbnb type deal, and you'll be right in kind of the middle of town where you get to enjoy it and see it, see what it's like before you commit to, to moving here. Uh, one of the other things that's, that's unique about Salado is there's a big, big, big equine hospital and clinic. Uh, Brazos Valley Equine is located in Salado, and they are very, they're very much responsible for a lot of the horse care, veterinarian care in this area and even extending out towards Austin. Uh, you'll, you'll see that a lot of people out here own livestock, they own horses. So if you're thinking about getting horses, you might find your property here. Yeah. And there's not a whole lot of listings, I think, in the whole city of, or village of Salado. There's only about 17 listings. So not a lot to pick from, but definitely some availability a lot of properties out in this area are sold by the owners it's like for sale by owner you'll see a lot of them a lot of owners try to sell their own properties out here so if this is something you're interested in you guys got to reach out to us we can help you find them we have connections in the area we know people here that can help us find you that property that you want and uh yeah let's let's take a look at some more of the footage check it out
So those houses you just saw were in Mill Creek. Um, that area has been pretty well established. As you notice, the golf course is there, a lot of big trees. Very, very, very nice looking homes, well kept. Uh, you won't find, some of the older properties in the area are gonna be your farmhouses that have been there for probably generations, family owned, passed down the line kind of thing. Uh, there are some new subdivisions going up in Salado, not a whole lot at the moment, but I think that's going to change. I think the more people realize this is here, the more growth it's going to get. And as things push out further north from Austin, you're definitely going to get more growth in this area. Like I said, guys, you're working in Round Rock. I know several people that live in Salado, work in Round Rock, and at, at the moment, the drive-in, yes, it may be a 40-minute drive, but it's, it's an easy drive. Unless there's a collision or something like that blocking the highway and backing it up, you're pretty much not going to hit heavy traffic until you get to Round Rock. So if you're working Round Rock, great place to be if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle during your downtime. A lot of people enjoy walking outside and, and, and it's quiet. It's yeah. quiet. It's relaxing. One of the other perks to Salado is it's located in Bell County and Bell County overall as a whole extremely low property taxes a lot lower than your travis county williamson and county hayes. and hayes a lot lower guys a lot lower in fact some people who don't mind that extra 10 15 20 minute drive will move to an area like this just to save the money in taxes because it's it, it's significantly lower yeah and the vibe that i kind of got driving through salado is real quiet there's not much going on in some parts of the town. Yeah, for a while it seemed like Salado was kind of a, your family's either lived here for a long time, so you live here, or it's it was kind of a retirement spot for folks, just because it's a slower pace. You got everything you need, there's a grocery store in town, there's a couple, there's a Salado wine, winery. You can go down there, they make their own wine, they hold art festivals where they display local artists, and some other artists, you can go in, you can have a couple glasses of wine, buy some art. A lot of art festivals in Salado. It's a very artsy, I, I, I don't want to say a very artsy village, but there's a lot of artwork and stuff they're like known in this for. area. Yeah, they're kind of known for it, the boutiques and the art. So overall, great feel. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, reach out. If you're looking or considering or if this sounds appealing to you let us know and we'll kind of give you an idea of what your drive is going to look like or your commute if that's what you're doing we'll kind of give you an idea of what to expect so that way it's not a surprise to you guys uh, overall Salado very I, great I think, place to be yeah great town in my opinion definitely showing you now is some of the areas you can hang out and eat um, come out and hang out get chupacabra here take a look at chupacabra not only are they 60 beers on tap but it's 60 Texas beers on tap outstanding there's barrel over there I'll show you barrel now. see it big brewery Rio Salado, Mexican food, the glass place. Alright guys, again Salado, it's one of those towns that a lot of people aren't really aware of. And it's not that they're, they've never heard of it, it's just, it's just been here it's and there. it's been kind of quiet, <laughs> quiet little town and it's like people just pass right through it without even realizing it. Um, we just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of it because this would be a great place to live. And we thought this might be beneficial to some of you out there. Yeah, uh, we hope this video is as helpful for you guys. Um, with 
or useful. Uh, if there's anything real estate needs, we're here to help. Uh, call, text, email in the description below or on the screen right now. Uh, subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and hit that notification bell for when we release our next video. Until next time, catch you later. <laughs> Did you guys see that?